Yeah. When you're not aware of death, like when you don't grow up with those fears, you know, yet you've seen them. Have you seen the movie Bridge to Terabithia, for example? Yes. Yes. And I saw I watched it probably like 10 years ago with my kids. Did you notice that that Jesse Aaron's Josh Hutcherson's character? Did you notice how throughout the movie he was basically the punching bag for everyone except for Leslie? And then when Leslie died, everybody started treating him more nicely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ex I was going to say that's exactly probably what they were probably trying to feel or find. But yes. <laughs> Yeah, it was, you know, that shows that you shouldn't take life for granted. And that's probably what everybody learned in that story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. That, that's like, you know, you hear it and it's so cliche. You hear it so much. But at the same time, it's like until you've been in that kind of situation, you really don't live your life to the, full, to the fullest or, you know, hold on to those moments that are so good. You don't value them as much as you you would if you didn't have that experience, I think. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes you need to experience loss in order to live the way that life is, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, you might remember this. You might remember this or you may not have heard of it. But do you remember how in Sesame Street back in the 1980s, how they had that that very widely acclaimed episode where they addressed the topic of death because of the cast because of the death yes, of one of the cast Mr. members? Hooper. Wasn't it Mr. Hooper? Do you remember that? And it was controversial because nobody knew when it was right to talk about that. Yeah, you know, when I look at that episode, you know, it's very difficult when you have to address that with children. But this is just my opinion of it. I I watched that episode a while ago and I grew up watching the 70s and the 60s and the 80s Sesame Street, not the today ones. But when I saw that episode and heard about the backstory behind it, I thought they did a very good job of explaining in a kid-friendly way how death is supposed to be and how it's irreversible and how it's okay to be sad about it. You know, I that episode, in my opinion, is probably one of the best ones they ever did. Like... I think it should be used in curriculums and schools. That's just my opinion. Well, it's a life lesson. It's something that you can actually use the rest of your life because if you know how to deal with it and you know it's okay to be sad and it's okay to move on from being sad, you know, that that helps a lot. Because like a lot of people, I, I know at least like in my friend group that went through this, we've talked a lot about like survivor's guilt, mm -hmm. you know, and so having having known that it's okay to move on and it's okay to be sad and you can't live there, it would have made healing, I think, a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. I really think, I don't know if it'll happen in my lifetime, but I really, really think that that episode of Sesame Street will be preserved by the Library of Congress for being historically significant. I, I think it definitely belongs on that list, in my opinion. It is. And it's funny because children are so necessary for growth in the United States, I think. And they just get so pushed aside, you know, with cur curriculum and, and things like that. So it's nice to have places like Sesame Street that can actually come through and say, you are important and let me help you with this world, <laughs> you know, because they really do teach life lessons. So, yeah, no, I agree. I think it is a really uh, valuable, valuable episode for sure. Yeah, I would say it's one of the top three the episodes they made. That's just my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I was going to ask, uh, now here's the tragic part. What exactly happened on April 20th, 1999, from your perspective? Um, are you asking, like, why they did what they did or what happened, like, the day of? what happened the day of from your perspective 